Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. So I'm going to be teaching you camera manipulation. So like messing with the camera. So this did get requested. I forgot from who. But here you go, man. So keep this in mind. Camera, the camera um, that's in workspace. This can only be accessed by local scripts. You can't access it with a server script. So, you know, this is a, uh, let's see. Let me show you just in case you don't know. This is a server script, which is just, it's called script. And this is a local script. So the camera can only be accessed in local scripts. But you can't put the local script inside workspace. You can't do that. Local scripts are, they run, <clears throat> a local script script will run in starter GUI, player pack, I mean starter pack, or one of these, starter character scripts or starter player scripts and yeah so we're going to it does not matter which one you put it in I would recommend either one of these because sometimes um, putting a local script in one of these it uh, runs at different times so so I'm gonna put my local script inside starter pack then right click insert object and local script we're going to name this local script yeah all these other things are from other tutorials Okay, so let's name our local script uh, camera. Now, I do plan on making a part two and a part three, so that's why I'm going to name the, the video camera manipulation because we're going to be messing with the camera and making cameras, the camera spin and um, lurping and certain things. So part one is just going to teach you the very basics. So say we want a part. Like, you want this simple cutscene. So just gonna use some free models so say because I'm working on this Warcraft game and someone had set up the Warcraft people to be facing each other kinda like this now say you wanted this to be kinda like a intro where you want the camera to point kinda point down at them too and they're just standing still you know it's kinda yeah actually how about I show you guys um I'm going to show you guys what I mean, because whoever did this is amazing. I don't know why I went to Durator. No, that's not what I wanted. And no, I'm not a big Warcraft fan, but um, they needed me. Um, someone, one of my friends, he uh, told me about helping these guys out. And they are really good builders, and it's pretty neat working with them. So I'm trying to open up Studio okay so what you want to do is set the camera up now how do you know which way the camera is facing well all you gotta do is oh first off check anchored on you don't want the camera to fall and if you open up surface and then you find front surface so as you can see it's highlighting um, where the front surface is so you want to just rotate the front surface to be in front you know in your direction that you want the camera pointing so and then I'm going to make it a 2x2x2 two by two by two. so two studs all around and then we'll go inside this block and yeah it's gonna be something like that and also you can rotate it and it's still going to work it's going to point down if you rotate it wherever it's pointing okay alright so here's the game I just want to show this off right quick because I really like this so I can show you Ooh, it's very laggy oh my goodness I'm going to play this As you can see, this is pretty nice actually. I really like this. I like how the flags move, that's really cool. I don't know how that's done either. But yeah, I'm pretty much the script of this game. And yeah. Okay. So yeah, I just want to show you guys kind of what you could do. Because that's what I used. What I'm teaching you here, that's what I had used. So. Let's get started. So, <clears throat> you're going to go in the camera. Now, 
So this camera is going to run whenever the player is added. So let's do local. Let's make some variables here. Local player. So we're going to get the player. Whoa, whoa. Local player equals game. I was trying to zoom in. Game dot players dot local player. And then we're going to get the character. Local character equals player dot character. So it's going to get the character. But if the character is not found, that's what this R is for. It's saying if the character is not found, I'm going to do player dot character added. Character added is an even, and we're going to wait for that even to fire. That's what that waits for. It's just waiting for it to fire. So it's saying waiting. It's if it doesn't find the character, it's going to move on to after this R, and then it's going to wait for the character. That's what it's saying. Now. I'm going to get the camera, so local camera equals not to get the camera, you go in workspace and instead of doing workspace dot camera, do workspace dot current camera. I never knew why and how that like works because there's nothing called current camera in workspace, but it's I mean it's all over the wiki and everyone uses current camera. So I'm just gonna go with the flow. Alright, so now <clears throat> we're gonna do camera dot camera let's see let's see what we have here camera we got this let's change the camera type so camera dot camera type camera type is a property so camera type equals so instead of doing a string so like camera dot camera type equals attached um attach or custom like you don't do this attach don't do a string do use an enum now enum I don't really under I understand how to use enums but I don't understand what enum actually means and I never took the time to look it up so but I know how to use it so enum so we want to change the camera type so we'll do camera type dot scriptable so scriptable is just gonna be so the camera's just gonna stay still and we can't move it <clears throat> because it's scriptable you have to script the camera yourself since we're setting it to that so camera dot C frame. Now we're going to change the C frame to equal to. Now we need to grab that part inside of workspace. So let's name this camera. Oops, camera part. Now we're going to go on a camera script, and then we're going to set the C frame to workspace dot camera part dot C frame. So we're changing the camera C frame, which is the camera that we move around in. You know, we're going to change that C frame to we're going to go in workspace saying workspace is the same as game it's the same as saying game dot workspace just like that but I just say it workspace it's a lot easier <laughs> so workspace and then we find camera part and we get the C frame C frame is not a property it's like a hidden property C frame is just the, the coordinate frame so it's uh, it's like the position but with rotation okay Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's go in the camera. Okay, so it did not change to scriptable. See if I change it to scriptable scriptable, that's what happens. Um alright, so that did not work. <clears throat> now I guess that's a good thing it didn't work because I can teach you more. So what I do is so as you can see it didn't change to scriptable. So what we can do is we can put a make a repeat loop. So repeat wait. And we're gonna indent this. <clears throat> um and now you can't use an in because that's not how a repeat works. So it's repeat and then we just add a wait here so it doesn't error because it's gonna run really fast. So repeat wait and then it's gonna run this until I'm gonna copy this until the camera that camera type is equal to you can't have one equal sign after this until on that line <clears throat> has is equal to and then scriptable and then we're gonna play this and see what happens as you can see it fixed our problem so we click on camera it's scriptable camera subject we don't have to use that oh where are you going oh yeah it's not the camera's problem, guys. It's a zombie's problem. It's, they're scripted that way. So, yeah, that's that's really basically it. It's that simple. It's not many lines at all. So I plan on making more tutorials on making the camera spin around these zombies, maybe. 
so you know it can spin in the circle we'll see about that so i hope you guys enjoy peace out